Hi, how's it going? I am Steve. I'm with Drone Pro Cinema, and this is the beginning entry for my video vlog. Uh, I wanted to do a video vlog just to get some information out there. Um, lately, I've been speaking with uh, several different organizations about uh, you know what it takes to be a drone pilot, uh, what it takes to hire a drone pilot, and you know kind of what are the charges associated with that. So I'm going to have several different, uh, several different, several different things I'm going to talk about um, throughout my vlog series. Um, but this one, uh, the first one, uh, I wanted to go ahead and start out with something that has recently been brought to my attention uh, from another uh, friend of mine that's part of another group. I'm part of several, like I said, I'm part of several different organizations um, that have to do with drones and different operations, commercial use, agricultural, infrared, uh, search and rescue. You know, I work with uh, several different uh, people doing just about everything there is to do in the drone business. Um, so I'm kind of like a resource locally for uh, my my uh, local uh, businesses in the area um, and networking groups that I'm a part of to kind of answer questions and, and, and educate. So I say educate because um, one of the biggest things that we've come across, and, and this is something that, like I said, that's happened recently, was there are pilots out there who uh, go to Target or they go to Best Buy and they buy themselves a Phantom and they say, hey, I'm a drone pilot. Well, unfortunately, it takes a little bit more effort than that. Uh, to become a pilot, as far as a commercial pilot for operating uh, drones, or SUAS, there are some qualifications that you must first meet. Uh, one of them, and first and foremost, is, is that you have to be Part 107 certified from the FAA. That means that you have to have passed an aviation exam in order to fly a drone commercially. If you did not... Um, you must have a 333 exemption, which is also provided through the FAA. If you don't have either one of those, you're not flying legally. Um, and if you're not flying legally, you are um, making yourself a liability and you're also adding liability to a business. Um, and one of the reasons I wanted to talk about this was is that I found out that the person that was flying um, was definitely not licensed and they um, were hired from another company and the company didn't care whether or not he was licensed or not. Um, it was a real estate company um, and the agent said, you know, I really don't care if he's licensed or not. And I'm going to tell you why you should care. Uh, you should care because if you hire somebody that is not certified, who is not insured, who is not uh, allowed to fly commercially, um, then that means, you know, one of the most important things, which is they don't have any kind of insurance. So if they make a mistake, the chances are good that they're new or they don't care and that something bad can happen, like they could fly into a house or into a car or into a person, and the liability is then going to be on you, not just them. Um, it's because you hired their services. It's like going out and saying, hey, I uh, got me a guy who does some electrical work, but he's not a master electrician, and he came to my house, and he cut the wires that uh, the electric company ran to my house. Now the electric company is going to make you pay for the wire that he broke. Um, so, I mean, it, it kind of works like that. Um, not to mention the FAA, um, should they find out, will fine that person heavily. So that little, um, you know, the little money that he was charging, which you think you got a good deal, was not so good deal after all. So what I kind of wanted to talk about um, is, is, you know, kind of educating you on, on what it takes to do a five-minute job with a drone. Uh, for five minutes with a drone, for 10 minutes with a drone, heck, for 20 seconds with a drone, a drone in the air to do anything takes a little bit more than that two minutes that it takes us to pull it out of the case, strap on the props and get it up in the air and start taking pictures and video. Uh, there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that happens and I have several friends who have, uh, who have uh, gracefully shared their 
their time lapses of, you know, this is me getting ready for a job tomorrow where I'll be shooting for 15 minutes. Um, and it takes them, you know, three hours to prep for it. Uh, not only do we um, have to keep records and very detailed records for the FAA, we have to keep maintenance logs, we have to keep our licenses current, we have to keep drone insurance. Um, we also have to, for every job, we have to be able to uh, check the uh, sectional charts to make sure that we're flying in safe airspace. And if we're not, then we have to obtain a certificate of waiver or a certificate of authority from the FAA that allows us to fly in those areas, which generally right now take about 90 days to come back. So you kind of have to plan way ahead. Uh, it's no longer, hey, can you just come and do this for me? If you're not by an airport and you're luckily you're in the middle of nowhere, probably. But if you're anywhere in close in relation to an airport within five nautical miles of an airport, the chances are good that you're going to have to obtain a certificate of waiver or a certificate of authority from the FAA and the uh, the drone pilot is the one who would submit that information. So one is planning. Um, there is some planning that goes into it. There's some regular maintenance and time consuming things that we have to do as drone pilots before we even get to a job um, that you know that you guys don't see and you just see us you just see us drive up and go hey here we are let's let's get some filming done and then you know of course once we're done we have to take that information upload it all to our computers and then break it down and then send you the footage back. So, I mean, there's a lot of time associated with that. So it's not just a, hey, will you come film for me for 20 seconds? It's actually, uh, you know, a couple of hour ordeal for us to do one little job regardless of the time that it takes. Um, so with that being said, um, that's kind of what I want to touch base on. Um, make sure that if you are, are hiring somebody to fly a drone that you are hiring a qualified and a certified person that is allowed to fly a drone legally. Um, and we're going to be doing this every week. I actually am going to be speaking at a men's uh, networking group here in November in Loveland, Colorado, um, where I'm going to talk about uh, the requirements for flying a drone, kind of the, some of the things, the steps that we go through to make sure that we're flying safely. Um, because, you know, I, we definitely want to educate, um, and I'm, I'm definitely not a hater. I support all of the drone pilots in the area. I actually have a group um, where we help each other and learn different things and work together, and, you know, help solve problems. Um, so we're a community. Uh, I'm not trying to take anybody's job away from them. You know, everybody's got their own thing they do and, and every pilot is different and all the different pilots do different things. Um, and that's what's so awesome about it. And we just want to see it grow, but we want to see it grow safely and we want to see it grow honestly. Um, so that's kind of, you know, what we're, what we're all about. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me, droneprocinema at gmail.com, um, or you can visit my website, droneprocinema.com, which is D-R-O-N-E-P-R-O-C-I-N-E-M-A.com. Um, feel free to hit the contact form. You know, hey, I listened to your vlog. I got some questions. I'd love to, you know, I'd love to have you come speak at one of our, our conferences or, you know, whatever. I'm happy to do that. Um, and this is, like I said, this is just part one, so we got a lot of information to cover. Um, we're going to try to do this, uh, you know, at least once, maybe twice a week if we get lucky. Um, so stay tuned. Um, give me a call or email me if you have any questions. And uh, my name is Steve. I'm with Drone Pro Cinema, and we'll see you guys later. Have a good one.